Hello, Scorpio. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for you, Scorpio, for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your rising sign as well as your moon sign as they might resonate with you more for this particular week. And for this week, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Okay, Scorpio, first card. Major Arcana card, the moon. Next, Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Ten of Swords. Now your overall energy for the week ahead, the Knight of Cups. Your directional oracle card for the week is Home. And your crystal for the week, Tourmaline. Okay, Scorpio. So first glance, Scorpio, the biggest message that I'm seeing with your cards here is you're on the right path, Scorpio, even though you can't exactly see, you can't see it, that what you do, Scorpio, makes a difference. The work that you do, Scorpio, is important. And some difficulty that you have been having that might have been quite extreme for some Scorpios is now coming to an end. And there is an energy here of someone coming in and just lifting you up either by the words that they say, advice, support, and the phrase, your knight in shining armor comes to mind. Okay, Scorpio, so let's start off with your overall energy, the Knight of Cups. And yes, this is where I'm picking up. There is someone around you or someone that's gonna come in this week that's going to be exactly like what I said, your knight in shining armor. Now this can certainly be someone coming in in a more romantic nature maybe wanting to start a relationship, but I'm also picking up that this could be someone that you're already with or someone around you, maybe even in the workplace that is sticking up for you, you might say. And with the moon here in the background, this might be without your knowledge or it could be indicating something that you're not expecting. Now, the Knight of Cups is actually Pisces card, so could be this water sign, or it could simply just be someone that exhibits the traits of this knight. Now, the knights in general bring in movement and change, and it, it can be indicating travel for you, Scorpio. And the Knight of Cups, this is your overall energy for the week, so it's driving the energy of the rest of your cards. So it can also be some kind of creative support for you, Scorpio. And that could be in regards to a project you're working on or your job in general. You most likely have been experiencing much difficulty in what you've been working on. And this Knight of Cups is your support, especially for this week. Now, taking a look at your first card here, Scorpio, you have the major arcana card, the moon. This is your anchor card for the reading, your focus for the week. And with this being the focus, there could be much that is hidden from you at this time. And I'm really picking up where you're feeling discouraged, Scorpio. Because you're not seeing what I'm going to call the results of your hard work. It's not being made apparent to you. Now, we actually do have a full moon at the end of the week, so if you are a Scorpio that is affected by the moon's energy, that could be why 
this card is showing up as your focus for the week. The moon here is a card of darkness, illusion, your unconscious mind. And usually when it shows up, it indicates to pay attention to your intuition, Scorpio. It can also be indicating what are you fearing at this time as it deals with things in the shadows. So it can be indicating something that you're afraid to do at this time, Scorpio, or you're leery. It's outside your comfort zone, you might say. And what my guides are indicating is once you face that fear, you're going to have a lot of personal growth. Now, this is also Pisces energy. And the number 18 of the moon card reduces to nine. So it's kind of indicating to review things. Maybe what you unconsciously fear. What you're afraid might happen, Scorpio. The messages that I'm getting is to Find your inner voice so that you can reach higher levels of enlightenment. So this is actually about furthering your psychic ability, Scorpio. And it's interesting looking at the card here, looking at the top, the very top, you see the different cycles of the moon with the full moon being front and center. And that is what's happening later in the week. Now your next card, the Eight of Pentacles. This card is indicating either your job or career or something that you're working on. So I feel your Knight of Cups energy is helping you out in regards to possibly something in the workplace or something that you're working on this week. And for some of you with the Eight of Pentacles showing up, especially if you're unemployed, this is indicating possibly a new job showing up for you. Maybe something that you didn't foresee. And that's kind of the energy of the moon. It was hidden from you, but it's popping up and it will be something that you're very happy with. And also ending to what your last card is here. Now the eight of pentacles is Virgo's card. So it's very organized, analytical, practical energy. It's ruled by the sun. So this is in regards to your character, your personal drive, Scorpio. And with the number eight energy of this card, this is abundance, leadership, influence. So whatever it is that you're working on, you're going to receive honor and respect. You're going to be rewarded. And you might be even put in a more powerful position than you thought you would be. So the energy of the Eight of Pentacles is something that you are just pouring your heart and soul into. This is something really important to you, whether it be your job and your career or something that you're working on, like a project and possibly within an organization. For some of you, I see some kind of environmental type project that you're involved in, and it's really indicating that you are paying attention to every single little detail. Now your next card here is the Ten of Swords. And this is where your Knight of Cups energy comes in because the Ten of Swords here is almost like you're giving up. It's closure. It's at the very tail end of what I'm going to say a very difficult time. And with the Knight of Cups as your overall energy, this is the energy that's just carrying you through the entire week. And just what I'm picking up is that for some Scorpios, you really had a really tough time. Some of you might have been out of work. And your Eight of Pentacles is indicating work coming in. Something you're going to enjoy. It's not going to be exactly apparent to you, but it is going to be made available to you. So the Ten of Swords is more an indication that the worst is over and don't overthink your situation here, Scorpio. Now, this card can be indicating that you've made a lot of personal sacrifices without receiving any acknowledgement or results from it. So it can have that kind of energy where you might be feeling a little bit sorry for yourself, Scorpio. And if so, just shrug that off and move on. And if you've made a few mistakes and you know it, 
Just learn from those mistakes and move forward. Now, the number 10 energy of this card does mean closure. The worst is over, and reducing it further brings it down to number one, which is indicating new pursuits for you, Scorpio. You see the light shining way in the background here. It's coming. Now, let's take a look at your directional card here, and you received home. And this card is indicating, Scorpio, that you're comfortable in your own skin, where you belong. So this card can represent an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably, no matter what is happening in the world around you. So it's being comfortable, like when you feel comfortable at home, where you feel safe and secure, you feel like you belong, it's peaceful. So all those features are what this card is all about. It's like being at home with yourself. And that has a lot to do with your moon card. To awaken your psychic abilities, taking it to the next level for some Scorpios. Getting involved more with like-minded people. Or it can be referring to your Knight of Cups. Could be a new relationship starting up. The home card is indicating that you are where you're meant to be at this time and can reap great benefits by staying on this path, regardless of where you think it leads. Now, looking closer at the card here, and I don't know if it'll come out. Let's see if we can get any kind of a focus here. And it doesn't look... Anyway, right here, there is a little shingle saying, welcome life. And on the clock here is actually uh, the time 750. And I don't know why my focus is not coming in on this, but the clock does say 750, which might be of some significance to some Scorpios, as the number 750 indicates that changes you're currently going through are in alignment with your destiny, your purpose, Scorpio, and they're happening to enhance your life. So everything this week is heading you towards and taking you to a place for a higher purpose. And for some of you, that is indeed enhancing your psychic abilities. Now your crystal for the week here, tourmaline. And most likely, the message from your angels and guides is in regards to smudging, to focus on that this week, on getting rid of any old stagnant or negative energy from around you, both in your home environment and your work environment. So cleanse your energy in both environments with obtaining like a Native American smudge stick, or it can be an incense stick, or any kind of aromatherapy oils or spritzers, and ask for all the negative negativity to be removed, and to replace it with pure white light and positive energy. So carrying the tourmaline crystals this week can help you to release stress from your body and mind, Scorpio, it reminds you to try to remain positive no matter what, no matter what your circumstances are in your life. Kind of indicating there's always a silver lining to each cloud. And at this time, surround yourself with positive people that can help to keep your energy uplifted. And that is what I'm picking up from the Knight of Cups, whoever that might be for you this week, Scorpio. Now, the black tourmaline crystal will help you to get grounded. It's associated with your root chakra. So that's your base, your foundation. So be sure to smudge and cleanse out stagnant energy to let all these new things that are waiting to come in. Now, your numerology here for your three base cards 
is number 36, which reduces to number nine, which is again, bringing up that topic of review things. And as you're reviewing, you can be using your tourmaline crystal and your smudge stick or spray to eliminate any static or negative energy around you. Now in summary for this week, Scorpio, you have the major arcana card, the moon, as your focus for this week. And having a full moon at the end of the week might affect you in some manner, Scorpio. It is an indication to pay attention to your intuition, your dreams, your psychic abilities, as it can be very intense and enhanced this week. This card's about endings, new beginnings, cycles. And your numerology and your other cards are indicating hard times are coming to an end and you are certainly on the path you were meant to be on. Now, the Eight of Pentacles for some of you is indicating a new job, something that's going to be steady, long-lasting, something you enjoy doing. For others, it could be that you're working on or could either be at your uh, existing job. Could be something in your home environment or a hobby possibly, but you're paying attention to every detail and it's something that's going to prove to be very successful. It's important work. That's what I keep hearing. It's important work, Scorpio, and you need to continue. And the Ten of Swords here is indicating closure. Difficult times are now at an end. And it's certainly indicating do not give up at this time. That's what I'm feeling. This was representing you wanted to get up, give up on either finding work or what you were working on. You felt it didn't matter. Your overall energy of the Knight of Cups, that's what he's coming in for, giving you that guidance and support. And it can be an actual person or it can be spiritual energy coming in, reassuring you that what you do, Scorpio, and who you are matters. You're doing important work here, Scorpio. Could be indicating, if you're not already, to be getting involved with some form of spiritual work. Now, your directional card home here is indicating that you're now comfortable in your own skin. You feel like you belong, like you find your own tribe of like-minded people. And it could also be referring to that one special person, the Knight of Cups. So it's indicating you are where you're meant to be and to stay on this path as you will reap great benefits regardless of where it goes. And your angels and guides have, you know, suggested the tourmaline crystal and to also smudge your home and work environments, you know, just clearing out that stagnant or draining negative energy around you to make way for positive, new, fresh, creative energy to come in. Your numerology here is number nine, which is a time to review where you're at and where you want to go, Scorpio. But all your cards here are indicating you are on the right path. And for some of you, you are going to increase your psychic abilities as well as the spiritual and divine arts this week. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for private readings, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.